Libra. Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Libra placement. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. The first message we have is you were the ultimate plot twist. Wow. So yeah, your person is definitely going through a major, pivotal, emotional and mental process at this time here. They're hyper-focused on when they met you. They're hyper-focused on how their life has changed and how everything is really unfolding at this stage of their lives here, okay? So I'm picking up on the energy that when you first came in contact with your person, they were very, very intentional about where they were in their lives, okay? I'm getting that some of them were either um, in a relationship, in a connection. Um, others of them were really, really focused on their career. And some of them were closing out cycles in their lives um, and really, really trying to work on their independence. Um, but they were ex extremely intentional about where they were. And I'm getting that they were not focused at the time on falling in love. This is something that caught them completely off guard. Okay, I'm just getting tunnel vision. So there's something about your energy that really, really caught your person off guard to the point where, to the point where when they think about this connection, they automatically compare it to being a plot twist in their lives. They were not planning to fall in love with you. They were not planning for their lives to be where it is currently here. Okay, and I'm seeing that this was really a battle for them. Because looking from the outside and your person, people would look at your person and feel like they had everything. Okay, maybe they had the career of, of their dreams. Maybe they had the family or they were building this family. They were building a certain relationship. But I'm getting that your person always felt deep down in the pit of their stomachs that there had to be more to love. There had to be more to life here. Okay. And meeting you confirmed that for them. And it's almost as if your person's life just kind of, you know, started to go down this path where I'm, I'm kind of getting it was equivalent to like a tower moment. It's almost as if they met you and things just started slipping away. Okay. Um, they had to close out karmic cycles. So many things started to happen in their lives as a result to them meeting you because this connection called for them to go higher. They weren't able to hold on to this, 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 this life that they had, okay, this old cycle, this past cycle, and walk into this newness that they were creating with you. They couldn't have both. And so I'm getting that your person is currently at this place where they're looking at this connection as a total plot twist. They were not planning this at all here, okay? I'm also getting that when your person met you, they felt a very strong magnetic pull towards you to the point where they had to question this. You know, um, your person just used to equate it to, you know, attraction. Oh, I'm just, you know, super duper attracted to this person. But they later found that it was more than that, okay? They couldn't forget about you. They found themselves yearning to see you. They found themselves yearning to just be in your presence, to just have your energy around them here. That is what really separated this connection from any other connection that they have ever encountered, okay? And it's almost as if your person went through this process of feeling like, how do I fit this into my world? Some of them were, you know, they created this life and they felt like this life reflected what happiness was, okay? Some of them settled, completely settled. It's almost as if your person looks back over their lives and because I'm getting that they're, they're, at this, they're at this transitional point, okay? Where they're looking at, it's almost as if they're comparing this love that they have with you, this attraction, this this energetic pull, this um, this just strong 
deep energetic emotional bond that they have with you comparing it to their lives before here and it's like they want this more than anything they've already decided that this is what they want but it's this merging that's really really bringing them to a pause so I feel like if you're at a place where your person either was pulling away from you or that whole runner chaser dynamic this is where that energy comes into play because this was totally unexpected. Some, some of these Divine Masculines never felt like they would ever experience this level of love. Even though they always felt like, oh, it has to be more. It has to be more than this. It has to be more passion. You know what I mean? It has to be more intimacy. It has to be more excitement. It has to be more spiritual. You know what I mean? Some of them settled. Some of them settled for the safe life. But then they met you. And you may read that energy. That energy may show up totally different than what it actually is here. Um, I'm definitely feeling that because there was such a different a range of emotions. Um, yeah, this may have showed up in your connection as your person running. As your person being afraid to address these emotions here. Because it's just, it's way too intense. Um, sometimes you can't even put it into words. I'm getting, but I'm definitely feeling like your person is really at this place where they're kind of sifting through how they met you, okay? So I'm feeling like you may be at a very pivotal point within your connection with your person here because they're kind of going through this mental process of going back to the very beginning of your love story, kind of, is the energy that I'm getting here because I just got love story. So I feel like your person is is kind of piecing together your love story here. Okay, really sifting through their emotions. Wow. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, what the hell was I doing? Yeah. You know what? I just got, what the hell was I doing before I met you? I heard that so clearly. Your person is definitely using this connection, using their inner compass, these emotions that they feel as a measuring stick to everything in their lives at this point, okay? Some of them completely settled before they met you, Divine Feminine, okay? And it's all, it's, it's like the deeper that they fell in love with you, Okay, it's almost as if your person felt like they were playing a very, very pivotal part in destroying the, the life, so to speak, that they had already created. So this really gave them some adverse feelings here where they had to question themselves. I'm getting they even question this connection multiple times here. Multiple times. So this is where that hot and cold energy comes in where your person is really, really into you and you can feel like you're making progress and you're moving to the next level. And then your person is like, hold up. Am I doing the right thing? Am I moving at the right pace? You know, how do I start over? How do I, you know, merge this person into my life, into my reality? Okay, sometimes this, this connection is so intense. You know, and it's, it's so out of this world. You can't really compare it to anything else. So trying to ground it and try to bring it to life here can be a task, okay? And this, this is where that distance came in. This is where your masculine may have felt like this whole thing was too good to be true here, okay? It's almost as if you know how the masculine energy really is it's a very practical energy here. It's like they're, they're about action. They want to know how to put things into plan, okay? So sometimes this love can feel impractical, impractical, I mean. So I feel like your, if this is resonating so far, okay, I definitely feel like your person is, is at this place where they're really, really getting down, you know, into detail about everything. I feel like you're at a pivotal point in your connection where things are really, really about to shift and about to change for you, for you and your person. There's a lot of emotions that your person were not, you know, was not addressing. 
And it wasn't because they didn't want to address it. It wasn't because they didn't have these strong emotional feelings for you. I definitely feel like some of them didn't have the tools here. I definitely feel like this is so, um, it's, I just, intense, you know, that's just the word that I'm getting here. It's so intense that it's, it's not easy to touch on this without going extremely deep without your person really, really diving deep. I don't think you understand Divine Feminine, how much you trigger your masculine, how much you awaken emotions in them that nobody else really has access to. So it's not as easy for them to tap in and tap out. That's why they would just rather be avoidant at times, okay? So yeah, your person is definitely going through a lot behind the scenes, a lot mentally here. So if you feel their energy pulling back a little bit, you feel them kind of being a little spacey, kind of being in their minds, they're definitely thinking about, you know, everything in this connection, how you met here, how their entire lives have changed. Okay, meeting your twin flame is life-changing and it's, it's really not an easy task here. Nothing will be the same. You won't view life the same. You won't view relationship the same, okay? And it's really a process where you have to go through the steps. It's very strategic as well, very spiritual and very strategic, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, I keep having flashbacks of us, wow. Yeah, your masculine is definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely at this place where they're literally playing over things, you know, in their mind from when, from the moment you met up until now. I'm getting something about eye contact. I'm getting something about you getting lost in their eyes, okay? Them getting lost in your eyes. You having certain conversations that stuck out to them. Your person realizing the first moment that they fell in love with you. Oh, this is getting very, very emotional. Oh my gosh. I keep getting, I knew instantly. Your person instantly knew. It's almost as if they're, they're so ignited when coming in contact with you with their body, their minds, their egos, their everything else had to catch up. But they knew almost immediately. And they're replaying things in their minds over and over and over and over again, thinking about you, thinking about what it was when they first laid eyes on you. Okay, I'm getting a lot of laughter, a lot of smiling, a lot of intimate conversations here. Okay, some of them when they first got intimate with you here, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother reading, okay? Because some of you have literally healed your divine masculine through sacred sex. And that's a whole nother reading, okay? But yeah, your person is definitely replaying these. I keep getting there using it as a measuring stick to every other connection. This connection sits high above any other connection that they have ever had in their lives, okay? Your person is, is definitely going through this process of asking themselves, you know, why can't they forget you? Why, why does their heart want you? Why is their mind stuck on you? Why is their body stuck on you? Okay? Even if you're at a distance, even if you've gone your separate ways here, I'm getting, all it takes is one look from you. All it takes is for you to be in the same room. The presence, the energy, it's off the charts. It's different. Okay, your person is definitely, I feel like if this is resonating with you so far here, I feel like this is like someone's love story. Okay, your person may definitely be going through this mental process of like, this is kind of like their version of your love story. So if you've been asking yourself, how did my person feel? Did they know instantly? Did they feel it? Did they feel the butterflies? Did they feel the intensity? Okay, what was happening in their lives prior? How do they view me? You know, how, how do they view our love story? I feel like this is their mental process. This is how they view you. If they even, you know, open this up to anyone else, this is what they're telling people. You know, they're telling them like, I thought I had this all planned out. 
<laughs> and I met this person and my life has changed forever. I have been forever changed, okay? Nothing is the same. I'm also getting that, um, I'm also getting that, this, this may be very specific, this may not be for everyone, but some of these divine masculines felt wrong for falling in love with you here. And the question that they've asked themselves over and over and over again is, if this is so wrong, why does this feel so right? Why have I never felt this for anyone else? Why, do, why have I never yearned for anyone this hard? Why have I never wanted someone so intimately? Why does my heart want this person so bad? If this is so wrong, why? They've asked themselves that question over and over and over. I mean, seriously. Some of them have even prayed. You know, asking, how how can I bring this into my life? How can I merge this, this, you know, this connection, this sacred connection into my life? Wow. Yeah, your person is definitely going through a very, very deep. They're literally allowing themselves to fall into their emotions when it pertains to you here. I'm feeling like some of them have never really even went back and really sifted through this process, really thought about how they met you, really thought about what their lives were like before you versus when they met you, and then the series of events that happened after, okay? They've never put together the pieces. They're really, really sitting down thinking about this. And everything leads back to you, okay? Yeah, this is a very, very pivotal point for the masculine energy. I feel like there's a massive awakening that's happening here, but this is like a deep emotional, very spiritual awakening, okay? Seeing this connection from a higher perspective, really seeing it from a higher perspective, really taking it from, oh, I'm super attracted to this person, um, you know, I'm super drawn to this person to know this is way deeper than that, okay? My life has completely been changed ever since I came in contact with this person, okay? This connection is deeper than any other connection that I've ever experienced. This person has the ability to say one word to me, to look at me a certain kind of way, and everything is personal, Nothing, nothing is by mistake. Everything has meaning. The silence has meaning. Okay, the eye contact has meaning. I'm seeing signs and synchronicities everywhere. I'm seeing the universe is literally conspiring for me and this person to be one. You know, what is going on? Okay. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let's get the next message here. Wow. Wow. We have, we are like magnets, yeah. Yeah, your person is definitely at this place where they're realizing this is not, <laughs> this is unlike anything that they have ever experienced in their lives. It doesn't matter what happens. They are always drawn to you and it's always with the same level of intensity from day one. I think that's the most important thing, okay? to your person is it doesn't matter how much time goes by. It doesn't matter, you know, where we leave off at. When I think about my person, when I think about my feminine, or when I think about my masculine, it's with the same level of intensity. It's with the same level of attraction, the same level of passion, okay? The same level of desire. There's like this deep, you know, yearning that you have for your person that you don't feel for anyone else. Maybe it was completely easy for your person to navigate connections in the past, okay? Maybe they would get over people super easy, you know? All right, that's it, it didn't work out. Okay, cool. Not with the Divine Feminine. It's almost as if the more you pull away, the more they want you. The more the connection, you know, the more you go your separate ways, you know, when you're triggered by certain things in the connection, you know, it has to happen that way. Because separation really is, is an illusion. 
It's really the universe and it's really a higher power conspiring for you to go your separate ways, for you to heal and for you to come back better every single time until you get to that place of wholeness. Okay? But yeah, your person is definitely at this place where they're realizing, I can't turn this off. I can't make this stop. This is not a typical relationship. This is not a typical connection here. This is a highly spiritual, deeply magnetic bond that is way over me, you know? I don't have control of this. I don't have the ability to turn off this love. I don't have the ability to turn off this passion, okay? Your person is really realizing you're truly, truly magnetic, okay? Wow. This is beautiful. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have eye contact. <laughs> yeah. I'm also getting that when you first met your person or there was something about the eye contact that let your person know instantly that you were exactly who they thought you were. That confirmed it for them here. I'm getting something like a magnetic spark, some type of electrical spark. Oh my gosh, I'm also getting who are you? So I feel like when you, when you looked into your person's eyes, something in their soul went, who are you? Okay, I feel like I know you. There was such a familiar feeling, such a calming feeling, but also such an intensity that your person has never felt before. I'm, I'm getting feminine energy. You felt this as well. You may have asked yourself, who is this person? Who are you? Why do I feel like I already know you? Why do I want you? You know what I mean? Why do I feel like you're already mine? I'm getting that your masculine has definitely asked them that, asked themselves that question about you, okay? But something about the eye contact where like initial, for some of you, this was like an initial spark, an initial feeling that was so intense that, you know, you both felt that the energy definitely did not lie. And you felt the intensity and the energy just upon being in the same room, being in the same vicinity as your person. Okay, I'm definitely getting that your person is definitely going through this process where they're going over your love story. Okay, they could be talking about this to someone. Okay, I'm getting that they're very, very emotional. They could definitely be confiding in someone if they have someone close that they can really speak to in confidence. But they're definitely at this place where they are going through how they fell in love with you. This is beautiful. I feel like some of them may definitely be speaking to someone. They definitely may be opening this up here. But I'm getting very vulnerable energy here. Very, very heart-to-heart um, -heart energy. I feel like some of them may be, you may even be speaking to your masculine at this time about your love story. Or there may be an opportunity for you to communicate this because I feel like you both haven't actually went over your love story. But this is like their version. This is beautiful. So your person is letting you know, you know, when I met you, I was on a totally different path. And they were intentional about it, but there was also this void there. There was also this deep knowing that life had to be more. And when they met you, you were the more, okay? You were that missing piece here. So much so that it made your person literally question everything prior to meeting you. What was the meaning of life? What was the meaning of love? What was I doing? Why was I trying to create this? Like, why was I building this life? You know, some of, some of them actually are at this point where they're realizing that they were afraid. They were afraid that they would never meet you. So they went ahead and started building this life because they felt like the love that they were yearning for would never present itself. And then it did. And then everything else had, they had to figure out everything else, okay, in real time. But yeah, your person is definitely, it's almost as if they're giving you their version of your love story, how they fell for you, how all of this came together, 
how they felt the magnetic pull, how for some of you, the minute that they looked into your eyes, everything within them alerted them that you were their counterpart. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay. Let's get the last message here. Wow. We have, what did you do to me? <laughs> yeah, you have completely changed your person. You see, they're in this state where they're literally questioning everything. Okay, some of them have never felt so intensely about someone. Some of them have never had someone run on their minds all day long. Some of them have never even wanted to just be so in love and be so open. But this love is just, it's higher. You know what I mean? It's so passionate. It's so intense. It's so intimate here that your person, you know, they're at this place where they really kind of just want to fall into this. But your person may definitely be feeling like, or you have been in this place, Divine Feminine, where you're like, what did this person do to me? Okay, why do I want them so much? Why do I crave them? Why do I yearn for them? Okay, I have never felt like this with anyone else. Okay, so your person is definitely at this place where they're really, really getting super meticulous about this connection, about how it happened here. It's like they're going over their love story. They could really be at this place where they're either opening this up to someone or they're finally in a place emotionally where they're able to admit to themselves that you are their divine counterpart. But this is little, I'm getting the energy of this is their version of your love story. Maybe you've never um, got it from them Maybe you've never discussed this here. Maybe you've been curious about how your person felt about all of this. Did they feel the intensity, okay? Because I'm getting that a lot of them were not able to physically, you know, um, express this to you. They were not able to articulate these emotions. The emotions, it's such a range of emotions. A lot of them, they're not even able to put a name to it, okay? It's just a feeling. It's, it's You can't even describe it, okay? But yeah, your person is at this place where, um, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really, really feeling a lot of love, a lot of intense love for you, feeling very, very emotional, really diving deep into their emotions. So you definitely may feel um, very, very strong energy coming from your person here. You may just get emotional random times of the day. I'm feeling like you may even feel like a really, really deep yearning at this time for your person because they're really, really pulling on your heartstrings and really wanting you to know, you know, um, that they love you, that they know exactly who you are here, okay? For some of them, they're giving you their version of your love story. This is so beautiful, okay? So if you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. Okay, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.